Hillary Clinton did not respond to reports that she used a private email, not a government email address, while she was Secretary of State. And frankly, I think it's, it, there's a potential this is a violation of the records law, the Records Act. Nobody is above the law, not even Hillary Clinton. Had you done it, or had I done it, um, I'd be off the Intelligence Committee. My, my classification would have been removed. Isn't the mishandling alone... Judge Janine, isn't that in and of itself a crime? Yes. I think she should be in jail for what she did with her emails, okay? She should be in jail. We do not need a reckless president who believes she is above the law. Lock her up. That's right. Get, that's right. Lock her up. Hillary Clinton shouldn't be allowed to run. But it's okay if it's a he, not a she. From the party of law and order to the party of big-time hypocrisy. After that FBI search, Republicans are making it more clear than ever where their loyalties lie. And that is with the former guy, Donald Trump, no matter what the consequences. With us tonight to discuss, Cornell Belcher, Democratic strategist and pollster, and Mark McKinnon, former advisor to both George W. Bush and John McCain, and co-host of The Circus on Showtime. Cornell, our friends over at The Recount have been collecting some Republican reaction to the search. Watch this. What were you really doing? What were you looking for? Why not talk to President Trump and have him give the information you're after? They will break down your front door. They will spy on your text. Think about what they could do to you. It's like what we thought about the Gestapo or people like that. This is the worst attack on this republic in modern history. And this is a chilling moment in the country's history. This is an abomination. All of them have to be held accountable. Banana Republic. The Banana, Banana Republic. Republic. This is Gestapo crap, and it will not stand. It is a declaration of war. They can and do it to you. That sure is bananas. Mark, compare that to what we just heard those very same people say about Hillary Clinton's emails. Yeah, well, uh, it's clear that these uh, Republican members have to hand in their memories as soon as they check into their offices. The, 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 there's, there's so much to talk about legally around this matter, but there's also a lot politically. And the interesting dynamic that's happening right now is that, I mean, the thing that proves to me that Joe Biden didn't know a thing about this is because if he had known it, this is the worst possible timing for Joe Biden. I mean, this is the week when he was going to roll out and, and take credit for his greatest legislative accomplishment. Uh, and, and so if somebody came to me and I were President Joe Biden and said, you know, hey, listen, how about right now we go into the former president's uh, uh, residence and 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 break the safes and and gather material uh, you know that would be the last thing you'd want to do politically so short term it's really not that great for biden and it's and uh, and we're seeing how good it is for trump uh the timing couldn't be better for trump as we see people like ron DeSantis and the people who would likely challenge him coalescing around him but hold on a minute we we, we keep hearing oh it's good for trump trump is fundraising all of that off of this just because he's fundraising does not mean he is successfully raising funds. How do we know that people are writing him checks? Mark. Well, the proof will be in the pudding, but it's pretty clear that, that, that the establishment Republicans have rallied around him, and I'm sure the base are too. This is the perfect conspiracy crack cocaine for them. They love this stuff. I, I guarantee you they're raising money off it, but it's short term, right? I mean, listen. I mean, the one thing I can be absolutely sure of that all your legal experts have said is that you know, they wouldn't have pursued this route unless they absolutely had the goods. And the goods have clearly got to be more than a misdemeanor, and it's got to be a big deal. So the, show, the fundraising and the, and, and the rallying behind Trump could be, could be and likely will be very short-lived. And long-term, it would be great for Biden. Cornell, what well, say you? Because Democrats from President Biden on down, as it relates to the search, are basically saying, no comment, it's an ongoing investigation. Well, I, I think that's a smart thing for them to do. Look, I mean, I mean you're, you're, you're the, 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 the guy who's probably the, the front runner for the Republican nomination uh, just had his, his house uh, searched by the FBI for criminal wrongdoings. There's no need for, for a Democrat to get, to get involved in that story whatsoever. He's just stayed a heck, of, a heck away from that story. I, I do think it's, it, it is myopic to think that, that because this, because the FBI, oh, Stephanie, only in in Washington chattering class culture can can someone being having being having their home searched by the FBI be turned into sort of a, a good thing. And most of America, 
When most Americans see that the FBI is searching your home, they think that's a bad thing. But only in sort of the chattering class can file become fair. Look, I, I think it's, it's problematic on, 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 a, on a number of different levels. Look, I'm not worried about the, the Trump base being getting riled up. They're permanently riled up. I mean, my God, you sit t say happy holidays, they get riled up, and don't dare say Black Lives Matter or they lose their minds. But the, but the Trump base is not the majority of Americans. They're not even close to the majority of Americans. So what I'm more interested in is where does the, Ameri the majority of Americans fall in this? And the majority of Americans don't see the FBI as the enemy. The majority of Americans understand that the FBI are straight shooters, and they're actually out there trying to protect America and, and, and Americans. So I think the idea that, that the Trump base is being riled up about this, Quite frankly, I could care less about the Trump base being riled up about this. They're not close to being the majority. I'm much more interested in sort of the middle America, those moderate voters who 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 cobble together with with progressive make make made up the, the Biden uh, coalition majority, seeing this for what it is and seeing it as as more corruption and a and a president who you can't quite frankly can't trust. I could care less about the short term uh, money raising off of this or the or the Republicans being being riled up about this because again, they are permanently sort of the and, the and Fox News, you know, they're constantly being the victim. I mean, victimization is what they live on. Victimization is the fuel to their resentment pol political fires. So I'm not surprised by that. Mark, what about more uh, moderate voters that actually do vote for Republicans? Republicans like a Susan Collins, a Joni Ernst, a Mitt Romney. I don't see them coming out there with full-throated defenses of Donald Trump. It's crazy town. It's Matt Gates. It's Marjorie Taylor Greene. It's Jim Jordan. It's loud Republicans, not necessarily powerful ones. Mitch McConnell, he hasn't said much. I mean, could all of this be Mitch McConnell getting exactly what he wants? Trump getting destroyed by others so he doesn't have to. Sure. Yeah, sure it could be. And and I think, uh, you know, thoughtful, careful thinking Republicans are holding their fire and they they realize that uh, that there's a lot of potential long term consequences for coming out and defending something when you don't know what the facts are yet. Uh, and I think those those uh, representatives will wait and see what the facts are. I mean, listen, uh, the Republicans are, are screaming about you know, a, a deep state attack on the former president. Well, the deep state attack is being led by the head of the FBI who was appointed by Donald Trump. And to your point, though, a moment ago where the base is, we just learned moments ago, Trump backed candidate in Wisconsin just won the primary there. So the stronghold he does have on the party, it does exist. Cornell Belcher, Mark McKinnon, always good to see you both. Thanks for joining us tonight.